Go. And we're done. Wow! Welcome to our lab. Where we take boring things and make them exciting. And where we take exciting things and make them fantabulous. Catherine? Ah, uh, yes? Uh, we are not in our lab. Yes, you are right. We're at the fire station. <gasps> fire? Are we going to have marshmallows? No, no. No? Are we going to blow something up? No. Ah, uh, drive the truck. No. Then why are we at a fire station? We're going to learn orderliness and watch how the firefighters have to be orderly. What? Firefighters have to be orderly? Yes, very. Let's wow. go see. Let's go. This is my friend, Steven. Hello, Steven. Hello. Hello. He's worked with the fire department for 21 years. That's a long time. What made you decide to become a firefighter? Oh, I love helping people. You know, I was in college for three years and doing graphic design, and I wasn't really enjoying it. And I started praying about what kind of a job that I could fit into instead uh -huh. of what kind of a job would fit for me. So I prayed about it and God led me to try out for a fire department and I tried out, got on my first try. Wow, that's amazing. So every time you go on a call, do you um, always fight fires? That's a great question. No, um, in fact, we fight very few fires anymore. We, what? We, yeah, we train really hard and, and know exactly what we're gonna do if we face that situation, but most of the time, we're helping people in other ways. We go on vehicle accidents with injuries. We go on medical calls every day. Um, we respond on water rescues and rope rescues and structural collapses and hazardous materials calls. So firefighters do quite a bit. Wow. In fact, would you like me to open these? We, we kind of consider our fire trucks like a big rolling toolbox. And if, if you want, I'll show you what's in some of the compartments. Oh, yes, please. So wow. here's a stair chair, a way to get people downstairs. This fights COVID. I know that we've all wanted to fight it. Here's some of the medical equipment that we use. Wow. And these things are used on accidents with injuries in case somebody's hurt or not to just stabilize vehicles and just every day we get a chance to help people. So it's a good day. Wow, that's so cool. What is all that? Well, that's, that's our bunker here. So when we do have to fight fires, you know, fire is really dangerous. It's hot, yeah. it can burn you, and the smoke is equally as dangerous. People don't know that. We teach kids, if your house is on fire, crawl out of the house. Well, even us firefighters, uh -huh. we wear an air pack so that we can breathe in there, but we still crawl into fires. But the bunker gear protects us too. It protects us from hazardous materials, the heat, the smoke, and a lot of different things that we can face, um, wow. including germs. And so, but we have to get, Put it on very quickly like we learn to put it on efficiently i mean just like everything has its place on a fire truck we have to know how to use our equipment um, quickly and, and effectively so this is cade um hello cade hello. cade's been here for just about a year and uh he's really good at putting his gear on because we have to put it on in a minute and 20 seconds or less Whoa. so that we're ready to fight a fire as soon as we face it whenever you guys tell me to go i will go okay i'm going to time it go So the point of the bunker gear is to protect every bit of his skin. So our bunker pants and our bunker coat, it has three layers to it. So there's a thermal layer to, to stop the heat from burning us. There's a chemical barrier to stop any hazardous chemicals from getting to us. And then there's also that outer shell that just kind of keeps us from getting scratched or abrasions. But you can see he's even got his head, his ears covered up with that hood and a mask on. So then when he puts this backpack on full of air, he can click into it and be able to breathe clean air. And as you notice, just so that we stay a little quicker and more efficient, he keeps his boots in his pants. So you just step right into your boots, pull your pants right up. And he did that really fast. And the last thing he puts on is his gloves. So. Every bit of his skin is covered up. And we're done! Wow! I 
I think I counted a minute and 10 seconds, I think. <laughs> I think that's what I got. Yeah. Wow, so you have to do that whenever the bell of arm sing goes off? Yes. Yeah. Wow. As fast as we can. That is amazing. So I bet that when you come back from a call that you're like really hot and really tired and you just throw everything into the truck, right? Though that might be tempting, that's not what's best. Oh. Because we need to remain orderly, we need uh -huh. to remain organized, we, and it may be a matter of life and death, everything oh. has to go back into its place. So when he puts his gear off, he puts it back into an orderly way. Everything that we take off the trucks, like when we when we use the hose, mm -hmm. we have to roll it all back up perfectly and put it back into the compartment. Everything has to go back into its exact place. Part partly because we never know when we're going to get get the next call, and partly wow. because tomorrow it's going to be a whole new shift of guys, and they have to know that what's on the truck is where it's supposed to be. Wow! So you guys, firefighters, are super, super, super orderly. But I'm just a kid. I don't have gear like that, and a giant truck to put all my tools in? Uh, yeah, you don't have gear like that, but you have shorts and you have shirts and you have socks and shoes. That's kind of like your gear. And you don't have a super amazing truck with all these tools, but you have your pencils, your pens, your school books, you have your backpack. And those are things that like, mm, have you ever had a You've been trying to get ready and you cannot find your sock or your shoe or your backpack? Yes. And how long did it take you to find it? A long time. That's right. And that time is time that you could have been using helping your brother or your sister or your mom or your dad. <laughs> so orderliness is very important for everyone. That is true. Wow, firefighters are very orderly. Yeah, we can learn a lot from them. Go grab your shoes and we're gonna put them in a big pile. And we are going to have one person go and like stand by the pile. They have to try to deal out everybody's shoes to that person. And we're gonna see how long it takes them to get all their shoes out to the right people. After that, then you're gonna have everybody go and help that one person. And then let's see how fast that'll go. It'll probably go a lot faster. Can you imagine if piranhas had legs or if cows had wings? That would be super weird and I think a little bit scary. Thankfully, he did not do that. So you're gonna go and print these papers off and hang them somewhere. And then you're gonna cut all of these pieces of paper out and you get to pick, see if your memory's correct, pick when God created these certain animals because God created everything very orderly and very specifically with specific purposes and so let's see how your memory is do you have dice you need dice because you are going to play a really fun game okay five. she got a five so five is run in a circle then it's my turn. And I got a two. Jump so up that's and down. jump up and down. So I'm gonna jump up and down. Then you roll. A one. Clap your hands. We are taking turns with mm -hmm. each other. But if we all did whatever we wanted on this paper, we'd be going crazy. If we were all not waiting for our turn and fighting over the dice, and it wouldn't be as fun as if we just took turns and waited for our turn. Orderly is you have to take your turns so things to be done well, and it makes the game a whole lot funner if you're like sharing. Have you ever wanted to be super cool? Well, today you get to be super cool. You get to be a ninja. So what you're gonna do is stand everyone in a circle, and you put your hands in kind of like a fish, and you go one, two, three, ninja. And when you say ninja, everyone jumps out of the circle. You want to jump as far as you can, and you're going to put your arms in a super cool position like whoa. Now you can play one of two ways. You can either play ninja with your hands or ninja with your feet. Either way works great. So what you're gonna do is you have to pick a person who's going to start. That person, if you're playing with your hands, has to hit one of the other person's hands. Okay, but you, I'm it. <laughs> so you can't move, okay? Until, like if you're dodging. So if I go to hit her hand, 
she's out. Her one hand's out. She can't use it anymore. But if when I go to hit it, she moves her hand, I have to freeze where I am. She has to freeze where she is. Now the problem is, if it's her turn, I have to be super, super careful because she could hit my hand. Okay, and so then you keep going around the circle and until either both your feet are out or both your hands are out and then obviously you're just out of the game and then you wait till the next round. But this game, if you aren't paying attention, you're gonna get out. And the problem is sometimes if people aren't paying attention, then you have multiple people playing and you're watching them go and then all of a sudden the person beside you is like, oh, 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 it's my turn. And then they hit your hand and you're like, wait a minute, I wasn't out. So you have to be orderly and take your turn. Otherwise it becomes chaotic and crazy and it doesn't become fun anymore. So we've enjoyed doing orderliness with you and have fun being super cool and a ninja. And we will see you later. Bye. Bye.